and when the concentration of Fe2 plus is increased then uh, if you see if the concentration of Fe2 plus is, is increased and we apply the Le Chatelier's principle then uh, the system will, uh, will try to oppose the increase in the concentration of Fe2 plus so the equilibrium will shift to the left this time so as the equilibrium is shifting to the left uh, the E, the value of E will become more negative or less positive. You can write whatever you find better, but more negative or less positive because equilibrium will shift to the left. So let's move forward now. So this is the last question for this topic. So chlorine is manufactured by the electrolysis of brine, NaCl aqueous. At the cathode, H2 gas and OH negative aqueous are produced. But the product at the anode depends on the NaCl aqueous in the solution. Either O2 gas or Cl2 gas is produced. So the equation for the equation for the cathode reaction is 2H2O plus 2E negative gives H2 gas plus 2OH negative gas aqueous. Sorry. Starting from neutral NaCl aqueous. So by neutral they mean we cannot they mean we cannot use OH negative for the oxygen half equation. We have to use H plus. So this is another trick. Whenever they say neutral, they, uh, they, they, they want you to use the H plus half equation and not the OH negative half equation of oxygen. So, starting from neutral NaCl aqueous, write equations for the production at the anode of O2 gas. So, it will be O2, not, sorry, not O2, it will be 2H2O. In a reversible reaction, you will see this in the data booklet. This reaction, O2, and this time we have to uh, wait. So let me make it, then I'll explain something. 4H plus plus 4 electrons. Okay. Now this time you can see that the electrons are on the right because we are focusing on the production of O2, not the uh, uh, not the reaction of O2, the production of O2 we are focusing on. So we have to invert it. And then Cl2 gas, so this becomes um, Cl2, sorry not Cl, Cl2 but 2 Cl negative gives uh, Cl2 plus 2 electrons and this uh, again electrons are on the right because we are showing the production of Cl2 not the, not the other way around. For electrolysis to occur, the voltage applied to the cell must be at least as large as the E0 cell, as calculated from standard electrode potentials. Use the data booklet to calculate E0 cell for the production at the anode of O2 and Cl2. So actually, for this, we will first um, write their respective equations. So this is minus 0 0.8, uh, so not respective equations, but respected E0 values. This is minus 0 0.83 volts. Then for the O2 half equation, it becomes, now when we are talking about E0, we know that the electrons have to be on the left. So this becomes 2H2O and for this it is 1.23 plus 1.23 volts. And for the Cl2 reaction, it is Cl2 plus 2E negative gives Cl negative and this is plus 1.36 volts. So in the formation of O2 we are considering this equation and this equation. So as you can see minus 0 0.83 is smaller than 1.23 so we will have to invert. So as we invert this will become plus 0 0.83 and then we will add plus 0 0.83 and 1.23. So when we add these two together we get, uh, uh, just let me use my calculator, I think it's 2.06, but let me just confirm. Yes, it's a, this is 2.06 volts. So we get 2.06 volts for this one, plus, plus 2.06 volts. And for Cl2, now we are not considering the oxygen. Let's just erase it from here. We are only considering the, this equation. 
and this equation. So again, uh, 1.36.